Hi everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. And I'm going to be using a product today, a soap, which I used when I had my beard. So this will be the first time I've used it for a full face shave and I want to see how much of a lather I can create with it really and how good it is for a full shave. And as you've seen from the name of the picture, it is Portis Kale, which is all the way from Portugal and it is citrus, cedar and amber is the scent as you can see there. Uh, the ingredients are pretty much, I think they're pretty much vegan. Now there is lanolin in here, someone did mention, I can't remember his name, I do apologise, uh, regarding <coughs> whether it would be vegan or not. Now, I mentioned in my last video that it would be vegetal, but it's not because it's got an animal product coming from the wool of sheep, which is lanolin, which is extracted from the wool. It's pretty much the grease or the oil from the wool once they shear the sheep. Now, I can imagine there would be probably a large majority of vegans out there that wouldn't use it because of that fact that it is an animal product. But if it's sourced the correct way and done the right way, and it's sort of almost like sort of like free range, grass fed, all that sort of thing. I know they don't eat meat, but you know, know where I'm coming from. If it was done humanely and it was just there to assist the sheep, then I would imagine that they would most likely use it, probably a small majority. But it's not a product where an animal is killed, it's only a product where the wool is removed from the animal in order to let it, I suppose, really get through life better. Because the, if you don't shear the sheep, they become an absolute mess and it, it was probably just a horrific life trying to live with all that wool. So there's my bit of information for the day. Probably a lot of bullshit that I just said. That's all from the head, so <laughs> I didn't even read up on it. I could be utter talking crap. Talking utter crap, utter talking crap. Fucking hell. Right. So, Porter scale. Soap looks like that. It's a very hard soap. I mean, very hard. I can't even put a dent in it. And I'm going to be using my turn and shave. 26 mil game changer knot, as uh, you can see there. Now this here, you can't really tell right now, but if I turn this light on and get the light right on it, you will see the difference, look at that. Now this work, this is pretty much, it's called chameleon glitter, and it works the same way of like pearlescent paint for car, where you see it as one color and as it passes by, it changes color. This brush does the same, and when it's in your hand in person, you can see it. When there's more light reflecting on it, you can really see it. So it's, it's something to bear in mind if you ever want to have something like that on your brush, just to give it something a bit different. Milton can do it for you. It's expensive glitter, but he can do it for you. So here we go, straight into the tub. Now one thing with the tub is it's quite a, quite a narrow tub, as you can see. But it doesn't really cause you to struggle to load your brush up at all. Now the scent on this one is absolutely lovely. I'm a little bit blocked up at the moment. I am going through the motions of a doctor and ENT specialist and all sorts because I've got a bit of a lump in my throat. And so I'm going through that whole process of where that might lead and what it might be. So as you can imagine, a few emotions running at the moment, but so I'm going to stop me having a shave. Right, so loading up nicely. <coughs> really nice scent. It's almost a sort of cologne type scent. Citrus, cedar and amber. I do love the scent of amber. I don't even know if amber is a real scent or whether it's just a, a made up scent like Fougere but it almost smells sort of like tree sap, resinous sort of smell to me which I believe it pretty much is anyway <laughs> but that's the scent I get from it and I really enjoy it. It's a very warming but slightly sweet scent. Right I think I've got way more than I need in this brush. I hope. So stop there, so there is the brush all loaded up. Come on, focus, there we go. Wipe my face, cold water shave today. The first one for a long time that I've actually went full on cold water. Just scoop the excess out of the tub. It's a very, very easy soap to clean out. Because it's so firm, as you can see, it just comes straight off. You're not, you're not even leaving anything on top of the soap at all. Oh, 
sort my hands. <coughs> And here we go, let's paint the load on. Oh yes, this is heavily loaded, which is great. Really nice knot, this 26mm game changer that Milton offers. Over a turning shave. Very soft tips. It's got, it's got more backbone, I find, than the tuxedo knots and things like that, but it's got more scrub as well. Dip the tips. We'll go back to the old painting in of the water of old <laughs> of like five, six weeks ago until we go nice and translucent then splay the brush and create a phenomenal lather I can already tell right now that this is going to be a very rich, thick, creamy lather Right, so as you can see, it's pretty translucent now. You can see through the soap that's on my skin. Pretty much through to my skin now. So we'll just scoop this little bit of wet sort of load on there. Splay the brush and let the magic happen. It's a lovely scent. John Whistle over in Sheffield in the UK has got the full set of this. I believe he's got the balm, the splash, the soap, everything, and says it all smells incredible and works amazingly. Now if you're noticing here what's happening, I haven't dipped the brush in any water yet to add any more water to the lather. I'm, I'm dipping the handle in the water just to get some lather off the handle, it's a little bit, a bit too much lather coming off down the handle. But as you can see from that, that lathering technique, if you follow it sort of, not strictly strictly, Everyone is different, but as you can see, it's really thick, creamy lather. Now I could add more water into that. I'm going to leave it a little bit thicker because I haven't shaved a day's growth like this for a while. Not the best tasting soap either. So. The car of Christopher Bradley razor with the C plate. This is the original razor that I received and purchased from Chris Kirchen over at Carve. And I'm going to throw in here a blade that was sent to me yesterday. I picked him up yesterday from the mail. And it is the Gillette Super Thin. Now, I believe these are from Singapore or they're from one of the Asian countries, I believe. Maybe Thailand. I can't remember, I'm sorry. And my memory's up my arse. But whoever sent, it, sent them to me, I can't remember his name either. So I do apologise. I will remember for the next video because I'll probably use these again in the next one just to give them a go. Now I'm a big fan of Gillette blades, apart from the Gillette goals that come in the red pack with a little football on them, I cannot stand those blades. But every other Gillette blade that I've used has given me great shaves, all of them, in their own sort of way. All slightly different. So there we go, that is the blade, it is a Gillette new improved stainless. So we'll just screw the handle on now. This lather is so dense. Looks super dense. What does it say on here? Oh, the Gillette Vector one. Look at that. One of that's probably one of the sort of main razors used in Asian countries and India and things like that. 
Right, cold water shave. Brand new blade, never used one of these before, so completely new blade as well, which is great. And here we go, with the grain. Opened up that little ingrown. Okay, first impressions on that is superb, it's so smooth, it's sharp, it's efficient. The soap is leaving so much residual soap, I could almost lather that up just with a, with a damp brush. It's super slick, extremely slick. So far, so very good. The soap is excellent. I may need a bit of water actually, it's just a little bit thick for me. That's just incredible. Super creamy, super dense, super glossy, slick, protective everything you want in a shaving soap, it really is. Excellent blade, the blade's so smooth. So smooth but it feels super, super sharp.
the residual slickness, I'm not joking, is some of the best that I've used. It is incredible. Now yes, I overloaded the brush quite a bit, but I don't think the soap's moved much in the tub. And as you can see, it just seems to go on and on and on. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to dip the tips again, see what happens. And again. Over this, and this is thick. This is still as thick as the first lather that I made. Look at it! Wow. I'm gonna dip the tips again. Stuff it. Let's see how far we can push this soap. Absolutely incredible. If you just jumped onto this part of the video, no, this is not the first ladder. This is the third ladder from the same load. And I can't, there's just so much soap, I can't even get it all off my brush onto my face. It's incredible. It has to be one of the easiest to lather soaps I've ever used. It smells great. Look at that, that's the third lather. Holy shit. It performs exceptionally well. The slickness is incredible. Obviously with this level of thickness on the ladder as well, the protection is great because it's so dense. The razor blade's phenomenal. You already know my thoughts on the razor. The razor is incredible as well. So far, I've got nothing bad to say about this shave at all. I can feel the protection when I'm using this soap, I really can. I can feel it when there's no soap on my face, it's, it's that good. <coughs> right, I'm just going to wet my face again. Just a light bit of water. Oh, it's just incredible. It's amazing the difference you feel in a soap when you're shaving your full face as opposed to just shaving your neck and your che cheeks when you've got a beard. Look at that. It's absolutely incredible soap. Can't chalk it up enough. Yes, it's reasonably expensive. Worth every penny in my opinion. It really is. That's going to last a long time in that tub. I've way overloaded. I've got a couple of little weepers down here. But that's just... I'm just blown away by this.
What a shave. Right, let's get cleaned off rinsed off. Move on to the post shave splash, which will be moil grooming today. Frankenline, frosty Frankenline. Right, rinse the brush out. In fact, I'll just show you this lather that's in the brush first. This is going to be a long video no matter how I do it. So this is what's left and it, and it doesn't look like much. But that is absolutely stunning scented, stunning performing, incredible soap. It can take a hell of a big drink of water. It really can. And it doesn't affect the performance of the soap at all. So I've got a few little weepers here and there, but I'm not going to worry about them. There is nothing major. Excuse me. Right, that's the brush cleaned out. I'm just going to rinse the soap now, which doesn't really, really need much of a rinse if I'm honest, because it came out so clean just with my finger. But I'm a bit pedantic with things like this. Right, touch up those little weepers, and here we go. Some moil grooming frosted franken lime in my opinion, one of the best splashes on the planet. Three tiny little splashes you need on your hand. Especially if you've had a shit shave. This stuff will really clear up your skin. kick is incredible. Now Sean Mullen, who owns and operates Moil Grooming, is based out of Ontario in Canada. You cannot at the moment, I don't believe, order direct from him to the US. I don't know whether things will change eventually, but I do believe you can order it from top of the chain. I think it's topofthechain.ca. But you can get it from them and it's just a, an exceptional product, it really is. It shaves incredibly well, it makes your skin feel great. It's post shave feel from it's exceptional. It helps heal all the little nicks and cuts and stuff, obviously. That ingrown here is pretty big. And what I find, it works very similar to shave works, a cool fix in that if you've got irritation there, it will suck the redness out. It'll actually pull it out to the top of your skin. It then dissipates and you're not left with any sort of 
shitty looking bits on your skin. And as you can see on my neck, my neck has never looked that good really. It's, I've always had red lines, I've always looked a bit irritated on my neck. Albeit I've got a, a weeper, a one weeper here and I've got this ingrown here. But other than that, it's the best my skin's probably ever looked. And, and I put it down really to the fact that I've been using Moil Grooming now for about two or three months I think. Just an exceptional product from a really nice guy and it's, it's going to last ages really. I put a little bit of a dent in this one but I've been using it quite a bit. I don't know whether you'll see. Oh, you can see. So that was pretty much up to the top up here. But I've used this one probably the most, the lime. I do love citrus and it's not a scent that lingers around so you can use an aftershave or anything with it as well. So it's exceptional stuff. Anyway, let's get to the soap. So this is what started it all off the shave. And it was Portis Kale, Citrus, Cedar and Amber. Comes in a beautiful tub. I can't remember what weight it is, oh, 4.4 ounces. So it's quite expensive for what you get. I can't remember what I paid for, it was about 30 pounds, I think, 20 odd pounds. Or oh, euros, I can't fucking remember. But anyway, I had that sent over. It might even have been less than that. Oh, I don't know, sorry. But it's not super cheap. But it's very, very high quality. It lathers, it loads easy, it lathers easy. It's slick, it's cushiony, it's protective, it's glossy. And it just goes and goes and goes. It takes a hell of a lot of water. You can have it dry or really wet and it still performs exceptionally well. And the brush today was the Turn and Shave 26mm Boss Knot, or Game Changer Knot, from Turn and Shave Milton over in the States. I love the shape of this handle. I really do. I think he's outdone himself with the shape of this one. It's lovely. And the knot's great. 26mm, it's got a great amount of spillie on it. It's just got the right amount of backbone, soft tips, good bit of scrub. It's not quite the feeling of a badger or a boar brush, but it's pretty good. It's close. That one's quite close. If you're looking for something that's got a natural sort of feel to it, that one is pretty close. The razor blade for today, it performed so, so well. The Gillette New Stainless. It's a new stainless? New improved stainless. And we'll see on the back there. Super thin blade. Now, I'm not sure whether these blades are actually coated, I don't think they are. Now I will say one thing, that is one thin blade, like it's it is like wafer thin, obviously called super thin. But in comparison to things like the Kai blade, that is like half the thickness of a Kai blade in terms of just feeling it like that myself. Really high quality blade. And then moving on to the car razor. The Christopher Bradley razor with the C plate. It's my original carved razor and I absolutely love it. I love the little short handle on it, the three inch handle. It's so smooth, comfortable, efficient. It just gives you everything you want from a razor. It really does. And in my opinion, it does every razor that I've used by quite a considerable way. It's not even close. Everything else has left my den because of this razor, every other razor. I'm not a person for keeping things just for the sake of it or using them just for the channel. Essentially, I started this journey of wet shaving to find a way of shaving which I enjoyed and that got the job done well without any real problems. This razor gives me that every time consistently. I get really, really excellent high quality results. Sometimes the soap lets me down, sometimes the splash lets me down, but the razor always gives me the shave that I want when I use a good blade. The Gillette Super Thin, massive thumbs up. It's probably one of the best Gillette blades I've used from the modern era and I will probably be looking to get some more. I have 10 at the moment, so thank you very much for sending me them. I will mention you in the next video, because I can't bloody remember your name, my memory's utter shit. And you, he does live here, he lives in Western Australia. And we finished off today with Moil Grooming Frankenline Frosted, which I can't really say much more about it. If you haven't got any, get some, seriously, try it. Pick the scent that you, that you fancy. The Fougere is really nice, Helioptaris. The lime one's great if you just want to give it a go because the scent doesn't hang around a lot unless you're allergic to lime and you don't get citrus that much but it doesn't hang around so you can use something else afterwards. The menthol that Sean puts in it is absolutely perfect. My face is ice cold but it never gets to the point where it feels like it's going to burn. So it's just pretty much put everything perfectly into that bottle in my opinion. It'll take a hell of a good splash to beat it. The closest I've come so far would be tallow and steel and even then I still don't think it's as good as that. So, that being said, it's been a pretty long video. I have enjoyed it, I've really enjoyed it. It's nice to get back in front of the camera again for a full face shave. That post shave feels brilliant. <sighs> and other than that, four awesome products. Highly recommend all four of them. Well, five if you include the blade. Catch you guys next time. Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. 
I'll see you for the next shave. Cheers.